so guys welcome again this is continuation from the previous um, part one so like i said they check their statistics this is my own personal opinion they check their statistics and they observe that a lot of nigerians that are based in america today came in through visitors visa and they stayed put so which to them that is deceit and you know they are a well organized country they believe they like honesty and truly we nigerians we lie a lot there's so much deceit in the land so much deceit in our people and the deceit is getting larger by the day i just pray that god will deliver nigeria as a country so that the world will see us in a in a better in a, in a uh, will look at us with a better image than they have been looking at i mean they have been they have of us now the, the the impression they have of nigerians is bad all over the world they see nigerians they say oh they are liars they are deceitful people they're they, they you know so let me end up there so like i said they observed on the you know check on their statistics of nigerian based in america they found out that majority of us or them sorry uh, well i'm a nigerian majority of nigerians that are based in america today came in through visitors visa so how can we reduce that because we want honesty i'm, I'm speaking their minds now i'm assuming they said these people come in they say they're coming for visitors but really they want to come to stay they find out that through visitor is quicker and you know than having to long wait on processing you know we take a year two years of you know of the other um route so me personally my opinion is that they feel the only way they can slow us i mean stop that is to frustrate visitors visa applications because i see that frustration imagine having to wait a year plus almost a year and a half even a year is bad enough six months is even bad enough that you want to travel to the u.s and you have to apply and before you can get an interview to be a year later six a year later a year plus before you get an interview that you're not even sure that you will get a visa to the country that is sad that is that is horrible and i don't blame them it's us that are causing this it's we nigerians that have uh, have allowed our um, reputation to um descend so low as to get what we are being um offered okay guys let's say okay if you don't believe me that it's um that's the reason okay let's look at transit visa guys you know transit visa is a visa look at it here 521 the same as b1 b2 guys you know that transit visa is a visa that you're only transiting through their country you're not going in but uh, what happens is that you bought a flight that is going to pass through their airport then you obtain a transit visa which will allow you board that plane from your from where you're boarding the plane from because you're going to stop by in new york stop by in a state in america before your plane proceeds to where your your own destination is so you need to obtain a transit visa which should not take a year plus so can you imagine it's as if the two routes that we use to deceive them that we want to enter the united states for a short stay and we end up staying because if it's not that why should transit visa be the same waiting time for um b1 b2 so i'm sure with this transit you will agree with me that it's they are blocking this avenue of we trying to find the shortest way to enter and legally once we get in we find a legal way to reside there which you know makes their hands drop has to you know push out back and if you notice this transit it's interview required crew and transit and you know crew is usually ship crew members you know meaning that you want to travel on a, a, a you're probably a sailor